today. Um, this is Amol Adakari. Okay. <laughs> Realizing simple scale flows in various templates. So I'll let you take it away. Thank you. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mathematics Department for giving me this opportunity to speak in this session. And also, thanks to all of you for coming and this talk and giving me a presentation. Today, uh, the topic is uh, realization of single scale flows using n band templates. So, we will be talking about um, templates, embed models. 3 band and 4 band template models, and what are the snail flows, and how can we use these template models to study uh, snail flows. So let's start with the uh, definition, uh, definition of uh, flow. A flow is a continuous function or a manifold, um, which is time dependent and satisfies this function. This is a continuous motion of a point, and the image of certain point P after time T plus S will be same as the image of the point P, which goes after time S and then after time T. Any state uh, in the manifold is said to be invariant uh, with respect to the flow if it is unchanged, if it stays same under that flow for all time. The set, invariant set is said to be hyperbolic if the tangent bundle of the manifold restricted to that set splits into three sub bundles, stable, unstable, and central bundles. Tangent bundle is the disjoint union of all tangent spaces. If the tangent bundle splits into stable, unstable, and central bundle, we say that the structure of that set is hyperbolic. A stable manifold means the set of all points which uh, go towards the center. Unstable means the set of all those points which go away from the center. And the center bundle, the center of the flow is the original orbit of the flow in which the points they move. When the invariant set, any invariant set is in hyperbolic structure, uh, we always get the invariant set in the disjoint union of uh, basic sets. When we have hyperbolic structure on our invariant set, it is the disjoint union of basic set. And these basic sets are compact and transitive. Transitive means they have a dense orbit. And these basic set may be an attractor, may be repeller, and may be a sun set. Now let's see about, let's discuss about chain recurrent set. For a while, let's think about a periodic orbit and try to be a little bit, a little bit flexible. Periodic orbit, a periodic orbit is example of chain recurrent set, but we need not be that strict to be periodic orbit. We can have slight flexible, flexibility. We can have slight if silent error, we accept that. One point is not necessarily come back to the original place after a certain time, but it may go to some other, it may go to some place where we find some other point, that point come back to the place. Then the set of this point is called chain recurrent set, and the point is called chain recurrent point. This condition may happen in finite number of places means we can have finite number of such points which have this situation that wherever this point x goes there is another point within the epsilon neighborhood that goes to some other place there is another point and so on goes back to the place this is slightly flexible and has certain a small error epsilon error then being a period so the set of all these points is called chain recurrent set. When the chain recurrent set is hyperbolic, I said last time that the 
the chain recurrent set when chain recurrent set is hyperbolic this is an invariant set the chain recurrent set uh, the chain recurrent set when it is hyperbolic it is it is the union of this point of basic sets it is the union of this point basic sets and these basic sets may be attracted with the and such the chain recurrent set when it is hyperbolic we have the chain recurrent set is the union of the distribution basic sets. And the basic set may be attractor, repeller, and such. To be smell flow, the basic set must be zero or one dimension. The chain recurrent set is hyperbolic, and the stable unstable manifold must meet in transverse set because the smell flow smell flow is structurally stable. Structurally stable to have structurally stable condition, the stable and unstable manifold must intersect transversally. Um, so that so that if we do a little bit perturbation, it does not change its uh, um, stable. Yeah, it does not change its stability. So if we if we have if they do not intersect transversely and say this way, if they intersect this way, if we make some small perturbation, it may be separated and it may lose its stable condition. But if they are transversal, if they are transversal, if we do some error, if we do some perturbation, it will not mm -hmm. lose its stability. The attractor and repellers are closed orbit. The basic channel set may be a closed orbit or may not be a closed orbit. For a non-singular smell flow, it must be the basic set must be one-dimensional, means the attractor, repeller, the channel set must be one dimensional. A template, a template is a branch to manifold which is built locally with two types of charts, joining chart and the splitting chart. This, this is the example of joining chart and this is the splitting chart. Here we have two entry segments and one exit segment. There we have one entry and two exit segments. To build a template, we attach the entry segment of joining chart with the active segment of split inside. And we make a template. This is locally uh, this is locally made with two types of these two types of Some examples of templates are these. This is the Lorentz template and this is a four band template. It has a four band in it, one, two this three and this four. So it is a four band template. And this has two bands in it. These are the examples of Lorentz. These are the examples of Lorentz. Now, uh, I just want to give a short uh, introduction of uh, knot and link. Any curve, any curve in the three-dimensional Euclidean space is said to be a link, uh, a knot, if it is homeomorphic to a uh, subject, S1. And the link of n component is the embedding of n this one copies of circle into S3. So the union of union of n this one copies of circle is linked, and any call in the three-dimensional Euclidean space which is homeomorphic to uh, circle is linear. These two are the examples of the knot, and this is the link. For every link, we can assign the linking number. If we give some orientation, we may have positive crossing and negative crossing. The linking number is the difference half of the difference of positive crossing and negative crossing. So to each link, we can assign linking number. 
the hope link has linking number one. And for each knots, we can have a knot group. And that knot group is the complement of um, knot group is a fundamental group of complement of the knot in S3. Now, what is the fundamental fundamental group of any space? The fundamental group of any space is uh, if we have let's see x is any topological space. We have a base point x zero. Then suppose there is a loop f based on x zero. There may be another loop z based on the same point. Then uh, we define f plus z is another loop which starts and come back to the place like composition of these two loops. Then we take what we do is we take all possible loops which are homotopic to f and we take all possible loops which are homotopic to z and the class of all these loops which are homotopic to f we denote by this, this is the class of all path homotopic to f. Similarly, g and taking these as element, the collection of all these uh, classes under this uh, operation gives us a group structure. And that group is called fundamental group. The identity element is the constant, constant loop. The inverse of f is the loop from the opposite direction and commutativity, associativity, everything will be set. So they're not typically commuted. Mm -hmm. Groups aren't typically commuted here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not commuted. Yeah, but they're, this uh, fundamental group. Right, fundamental group is associated with something like that. In 1983, uh, Bidman and Williams proved that uh, for a true phi t on a 3 manifold M together with the hyperbolic chain current set, the link of periodic orbits of phi t means the flow is in bijective correspondence with the link of periodic orbits on some particularly embedded template in M. So this means to study a flow we can study the template and we can get the linking structure of any periodic orbits on the template and that will be in bijective <laughs> correspondence with the uh, uh, linking structure of the periodic orbits in the template. So to study a flow, to study a smell flow, we can have a template model and we can study the knot structure we can study the link structure of any periodic orbits on the template. And that will be same in the proof, same in the original. Whatever we get the linking structure of the template will be similar to the linking structure of periodic orbits in the template. So this was that. So it is easy to study the uh, uh, flow by using a template model. Friends, in 1977, give us one, uh, give us an idea about finding the linking number of attractor and repeller. Attractor and repeller are the period, the closed orbits. And how they are linked to each other. Uh, what is the linking number between attractor and repeller, we can get by using this process. We can create a matrix by taking the Markov partition of the cross sections 1, 2, 3. And if we can, this is a template model. This is a three band template. And by using this three band template, this is just one example of how we get the linking number of attractor and repeller. So if we can go from this 1 to 1, we give number one, one there. If we can go from one to two, we give one for one, 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 two, 
we can go from one to three, so assign one. If we cannot go to certain uh, number, we give zero. And from three, we can go back to one, but because there is a half finish, we assign negative sign. So from three, when we go to one, we have negative one because we can go, but there is a half finish. So this way, we create this matrix. After we make this matrix, we subtract this matrix from the identity <laughs> matrix. We say this matrix is the structure matrix. We subtract this structure matrix from identity matrix and then find the determinant. If we find the determinant, that determinant gives us the absolute value of the determinant gives us the absolute value of the linking number between the character and the In this particular example, when we find the determinant of uh, identity matrix minus this matrix, we get zero. So the linking number uh, between linking number between attractor and repeller, uh, the linking number of the link of attractor and repeller is zero. So this is this is useful while uh, while figuring out the linking structure of attractor and repeller because for some uh, by some process if we could figure out that uh, the uh, attractor is a is an on knot for example and the repeller is an on knot then if their uh, linking number is zero, that gives us idea that they are the destroyed unknowns. They are destroyed unknowns. And if the linking number is one, we can say that they may pop in. So this is how this uh, idea, this theorem was useful to figure out the linking number between attractor and attractor. After we come to know about the uh, the template theorem and the previous theorem, we can uh, model. We can model uh, a flow by using template. Professor Sullivan, in 2000, has studied about the Lorentz smear flow by using Lorentz template. Lorentz template, and um, and the uh, the result uh, he obtained is the attractor and repeller link is either a hope link or equal and it's over here. This is the diagram which shows us the trifoil attractor. This green this green part is the attractor and the red is the repeller. Uh, if we carefully look at this attractor we see this is in trifoil structure. This is the trifoil and Unknot repeller, which is the meridian of this, uh, of this uh, triple. This is the saddle set. This is attractor and this is repeller. So this result uh, is this result says us that the realization of uh, simple smear flow when uh, we model the flow by using a Lorentz template, the possible Realization is opening or triple and meridian. Following his work in 2009, Binu, uh, he got two more realizations by uh, using L01 and L11 Lorentz like templates. In L01, one band has half twist, in 11, both bands have half twist. So if this template is used to study Lorentz like smell flow, we get the realization is either Hopling or a triple and meridian. And if this was used, we get a link which is composed of the triple <coughs> and two feet In 2014, Elizabeth Hines from SIUC, she studied uh, the simple smear flow by using another template model. And that was a four band template. Um, using this four band template, when she studied about the simple smear flow, she got the result that the possible realization is either a hope link or a figure eight or an experiment. Then, then certain question 
um, come to uh, come to our mind that can we use some more templates to study uh, this method? And if we can study what are the possible structures of a tractor and we can appear, and then we came up with the following terms. If we use this template now, for a non single smell flow, this is a three band template, these two are same, same template. If we take this part, if we glue, if we take this part and take it back to there and glue there, we get the same template. It is the same template, uh, the two different versions, two different form of the same template. And this is a three band template. This three band template, one band is this, one band is this one, and one band. So using this three band template, we study the simple smell flow. We are we get that the attractor and the repeller are two disjoint elements and no other possible way of isolation exists. Like By using this template, this is a four band template, different than the template which Elizabeth Hines used, we get the attractor and repeller link is only open. There is no other realization. And by using this template, we get a different result. Here we get a hope link or figure eight knot and its meridian. The difference, difference, yeah. okay, good. the difference between this template and the previous template is in this template, this band is from front and this band is back. We are switching the crossing. In the previous template, this band goes from behind of this this band. So if we simply switch the cross, crossing of the template, we are getting different. So uh, using this template, we get only hope link, but using this template, we get hope link or figure eight mark in this band. I wish I could prove all the all these three theorems here, but because of time restriction, I am not able to. So I will just try to prove this. Give short description of the proof of this theorem. Um, waste of the time. Um, what we do to prove is we use thickened template. Thickened template is the actual model of the isolating neighborhood of uh, the saddle shape of the product. Uh, this taken template, to bring the, the model that I have a physical model, he gave me the physical model yesterday. I put it in my drawer. <laughs> that would be more. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> okay. so the chicken template is actually the isolating neighborhood of shadow shape in the crook. There are active shape and neutron shape of this template, thicken template. This is active shape. This is exit set. And implant set is here. This all implant set. Because it is thickened. Because it is thickened part. The, the particle goes inside through this part. This is the implant. From this side. Also implant. And the template is inside of this thickened template. When we squeeze this thickened template to the stable manifold direction, then we get a balanced to manifold system. So, this active set always, this active set we can attach to the attacker, <coughs> the neighborhood of the attacker. Intrant set we can attach to the neighborhood of repeller. Because if if any point 
if any particle goes out from this exit state, it goes towards the attractor. So we can attach attractor with this exit state. Similarly, we can attract, at, uh, attach the repeller with the in transit. So the exit, exit set is just a band, right? Yeah, as you said, is the outline. Just a band, right? Outline. If we look at this exit set more carefully, um, the exit set configuration will be like this. The exit set configuration. The exit set is made up of three circular anomalies and two rectangular strips. And let's say the core of these circular anomalies C1, C2, C3. In, in this, this is one annulus, this is one annulus, and another is this big. This, this. There are three, C1, C2, and C3, three annulus. And these, these annulus are represented here by this, for this, this, for this, and for this B, there is this, 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 this one. So, when we glue the exit set with attractor, neighborhood of attractor, it depends on how the gluing operation is done. If these energy are essential or initiation purpose when they fit into the attractor label. If this is the part of the attractor and this is the annulus, are they going to glue this way? Or the attractor passes through the annulus? It depends on that. The initial curve, these these curves, these annulus, the core of these annulus may be inessential curve or may be essential curve. Inessential curve bound a disc on the surface. Essential curve does not bound a disc on the surface. If the attractor attached to the attached to the annulus in this manner, this way, then this bounds the surface on the uh, this bounds, uh, uh, this bound certain surface on the surface of this. Okay. But if the attractor passes inside through the uh, envelope, then this C may make a PQ curve on the surface of the surface, surface of the attractor. May do that. So depending on what types of form these are, we get various cases. If these form fit into the neighborhood, surface of the neighborhood of attractor mm, in essential, making an essential form, or they are the essential. If if all C I are essential form on the surface of attractor. This delta A is the neighborhood of attractor. If all are initial curves, then they look like this. This is the part of attractor neighborhood. Because the exit set configuration is like this, C2 bounds the disk bounded by C2 from the, from the this configuration. So, if all are initial curves, they fit on the surface of the on the surface of neighborhood of attractor this way. Then we can create a ball by pushing the surface little down, taking this ball out, we glue to the respective anomaly B1, B2, and B3, and then we fill the gap of the uh, we fill the elements. The thickened template, the thickened template which is originally a genus 3 animal body, if we can take a ball 
solid ball and glue into the respective anvil. Say in this, this will fill. This will be filled out, filled completely filled. Then this genus three body, anvil body becomes genus two anvil. Doing the same operation by using these walls, B1, B2, and B3. If we fill all the anvils, then the overall uh, the overall thickened template is going to be a single solid ball. And when a tractor is attached to the to that thickened template, the tractor is uh, the neighborhood attract neighborhood of the attractor is a, a solid torus, and the thickened template while gluing this through the um, through these cups through these anvils. The thick and template is a ball, the overall structure of attractor and the um, thick and template will be solid. And the repeller is another pure requirement. The attractor, the repeller uh, has a neighborhood of solid torus. The structure of them, their structure will be, the linking structure will be hopefully, because they have linking in the world. The realization of this. Uh, case is this. This is inessential form, this is inessential form, and this B is inessential form. All are inessential in this case. This green color is the attract, uh, the, the green color is the attractor, and the red is repel. The attractor is a uh, the neighborhood of attractor is this is the neighborhood of attractor, the neighborhood of attractor is solid to us. And the attractor fits into this anvil this way. And this is the long perturbation, um, like tail of this. We can have a continuous deformation of this back to there. We have continuous deformation of this to there. We get okay. here the the attractor does not pass through this hole. The attractor does not pass through this hole and does not pass through this big hole. All are inessential parts. And we get opening fields. If one of the core is uh, essential and the other two are inessential, then the other two curves fit this way. We can do the same operation for these two curves and then the thickened template changes to a single solid torus because two are filled. And then we have one essential core. <coughs> we can take a tubular neighborhood of essential core and glue, glue this to the essential to the essential core. Uh, we can we can dig a tubular neighborhood of this core on the surface of uh, on, on the solid torus attractor. Then we take this out which is a which is a solid torus because this is not uh, this this comes back and fits it inside. This inside is the real attractor. This tube is the neighborhood, solid neighborhood and this is the essential core which comes back to this. Then if we take this neighborhood out, this is a solid torus. We fit this solid torus into the essential core in thick and temperate. We get again a solid torus. How we get a solid torus? Same like uh, um, gluing bicycle tire and tube. The thick and temperate, thick and temperate, when we attach these two balls, will become a solid torus which has an essential core in it. And the attractor. The essential, when we take this out, this portion out and glue, this is a solid torus, which is like a bicycle tube. And we fit these two together, we glue these two together and we get a solid torus. The overall union of attractor and uh, the thickened template in this case also becomes a solid torus. And the repeller together gives us a link to uh, the off structure. This is the realization for that.
case. Here, this is essential form because this passes out, passes through this, C1 is essential. This is inessential and this big green uh, hole, this is inessential. It fits in the surface. It does not pass through. Here it pass through, so this is essential. We can look at this. Uh, we can take only this portion, the green portion here. We can have a continuous deformation of this back to there, and then there. It passes through this hole, but it makes a hole. Similarly, if we have two essential cores, we are going to get again a hobbling. In this case, the attractor passes through this hole, this anvil, and this big anvil. So this is the attractor which comes here and then goes inside. From here, passes inside and goes through this line, it comes out of this, and uh, this hole. This annulus will be essential. This will be essential. But this is inessential. We still get problem. When all are essential pumps, then none of the pumps bound this on the surface of attractor neighborhood. In that case, we try to get the generator generators of the thickened template and the exit set. Uh, we try to attach uh, the exit set. Uh, we try to attach because it is uh, the U, the thickened template and the attractor are attached through the exit set. Try to take the generators of exit set and we get, if we assume X, Y, Z because the thickened template is used three and body. So we have three uh, generators of U. And the generators of exit set in terms of XYZ will be one for this, which is G. These are generators of fundamental group. Right. Generators of exit of the fundamental group. Of the set, right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So using these generators, this uh, red is a uh, Y, G, Y, and then G, X inverse. And the grid is X, Y, with Y inverse, we get this. Using these generators, we find the fundamental group of A union U, because attractor and uh, thickened template they are viewed at the exit set. So using separate time carbon theorem, we can get the fundamental group with this. And after some simplification, we get this. And by using a Fox free differential calculus, we have obtained the Alexander polynomial. The Alexander polynomial of this group is this. There is a big uh, derivation. I have skipped all the derivation part here. The Alexander polynomial will be this. And this Alexander polynomial gives us a knot structure only when b equals to 0 because the Alexander polynomial of a knot is uh, symmetric. So to get a symmetric uh, result, we have to have p equals to 0. And when p equals to 0, this fundamental group becomes infinite cyclic. This will become infinite cyclic. And that means the repeller is unknown because the fundamental group of A union U is the knot group of repeller. Knot group of any knot is the fundamental group of its complement. So A union U complement is R which is the neighborhood of repeller. And the fundamental group of A union A union H is this means infinite cyclic means the complement of A union U is repeller. So we get the knot group of repeller. So the repeller is unknown. Using same um, 
concept and taking the intrans shared generators there is a big uh, too many curves in this starting at this base point one generator is this blue which is x and then other for the red it goes there down and then goes back and then from there goes up and then down and then somewhere <laughs> so it will be <laughs> we will be getting this uh, fundamental here that generator is the generator is this uh, one is x one is g inverse y g and another is g inverse y inverse x inverse y g and into this so simplification of this will give us this this fundamental group this is just the simplification of this part and this fundamental group is exactly same as the not group of the group so so what we get is this group is the not group of figure 8 not but this is the fundamental group of r union u that means its complement is a so the attractor is a figure 8 not. thus we get uh, attractor and repeller pair uh, figure 8 not and this may be because the repeller is another uh, unknown um, the repeller is another unknown and the linking number is 1 so and this is the realization for this part here we have figure eight not attractor all are essential curves that is this uh, attractor passes through this but it is under under this um there are two holes actually one because this 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 big cord bounds the surface bounded by bounded by this part so assume that this is been filled means it is been covered by a plastic from above it comes through it and from behind of this it passes from there and comes back and passes through this and then from this part it comes up so the if we look it carefully the green part is a figure at now this is under crossing over crossing under crossing over crossing and so we have a figure at uh, not attractor and the color is green so this is how we get uh, the all possible realizations either opening or figure at now and is here there are many other templates that we have to we can do for the three band template i have used this template and study and the result was uh, the two disjoint corners we can switch the crossing and we can have several other uh, three band templates we can switch this crossing we can we make it another version we have no idea we have not done that for other bands if we switch the crossings we may get some other result this here we can take this from behind we can take this from front this this band may be from front and back so there are at least many possible uh, template models so we can we still uh, have to study all these uh, currently i am studying one paper by uh, Bonatti and Milieu, they have given some restrictions to study uh, these the use of to use the technical uh, models, but they have not completely given the idea about how to get the realizations, and that paper is not submitted yet. And in the future, I will be studying all possible realizations of these three band templates. and some other realizations of singular smell cloth and also um we study some smell cloth with some singular form and not only non singular cases also some singular cases i have submitted one paper about 3 months ago but uh, it is still under review we haven't got any uh, feedback on the reviews now 
and maybe this one will be published soon. And this paper which we have submitted uh, is for four band template. It, this includes the proof of uh, four band uh, template model which I just explained today. Uh, and the three band template is the integration. Uh, we are trying to find out a single tool that can break all these realizations at a time. If we are able to get that that idea that can be applied to break down all the possible cases of all possible computers three by ten cases at a time, and that would have been fantastic work. But we are trying that and we we will add some other uh, cases maybe or other possible uh, results to the three band template result which we have got and we will submit it soon. So this is what we are done. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? The five band templates? <laughs> <laughs> what if you just one single question? When you prepare the structure that you have in a small neighborhood. How much of the operation that you go back and forth have the step? Um, so is it generic in some sense? So if we have a, a stable and unstable manifold intercept uh, transversely, mm -hmm. at this place, if we make a little change, it does not lose its uh, mm -hmm. stable condition. It stays mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. But if we have it like this, then at this place, if we change a little bit, it's separate. Yes, sir. This will be separate. This will be separate, and maybe we get this, or this will lose the stable okay. This is. Another simple question. Probably could, could you show me how the identity loop looks like? What? The identity loop. You said they form a group. This? Yeah. The identity Identity loop. is a constant loop. Yeah, how is that? It starts here and here. Oh, okay. So this is also one loop. <laughs> okay. It's called a loop. loop. It doesn't look like a loop. But okay. Yeah. It is not a loop, but uh, mm -hmm. we can think of it. Although in the, in the, uh, you can have loops that aren't constant, but you can contract them to one that's constant. Then that's going to be in the same equivalence class and be part of the identity of this group. The loops that grab some hole in the space and you can't lasso them back, those become the non trivial elements. Across, what they will get? Mm -hmm. 
one thing you may notice in the examples you did earlier, the linking number was one. Mm -hmm. Here, linking number and reader, they're all even. Yeah. So and that comes from Frank's theory. Mm -hmm. So you, is, it, is it true that each each template has a uh, own fundamental, all the fundamentals are different? Yeah, maybe there are uh, some of them are same. Uh, some of them are different. Uh, still, but for this time, I should say that all maybe all maybe different. There is no any specific problem that this gives the information. Is there any reason uh, you focus on three band templates? Why not more than? Um, because uh, before me, uh, Professor Ivan, when he uh, studied knowledge smell club, that was a two band mm -hmm. And Elizabeth Hines, uh, before me, who mm -hmm. did part from here, she studied four band template. So three band template was uh, not to study. So, so now in terms of the application, where do you see you've seen such examples? These are uh, under the course of the uh, Studying smell clothes by using various types of smell clothes and uh, various types of templates. Mm -hmm. um, the direct application of this, you know, right now, I don't have any uh, direct application, I can say. But uh, in the long run, uh, this will definitely give us an idea to complete the study of smell clothes. And maybe we can extend the work and see the mm -hmm. other things. Doesn't have anything to do with the uh, uh, many body problem in astronomy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Because Poincaré, right, mm -hmm. started the theory. Mm -hmm. well, he was well, studying mm -hmm. uh, you know. You sort of mean they're chaotic. Mm -hmm. So, right. so, so in that sense. Yeah. Now, the Lorenz template, you actually have Lorenz equations. Yes, yeah, so it's like a In theory, there's a differential equation for each one of these. Nobody has written them down. Nobody ever will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but they, they pop up the, uh, theoretically to have a complete theory of what, what everything that could arise, these would be included. Mm -hmm. Now the uh, the two band ones and the other ones with four bands, actually they're related in the sense that if you take a cross section, the first return map is a full shift on two symbols and all of that. You know what that means. These the cross sections is a full shift on three symbols. Thank you, Anita. <laughs> see, see here, uh, one 